Hello, everybody. It's Pete Cospin here with ZCED Online. I'm here with It Starts With The Food with Heather Parker. So Heather wanted me to kind of like really start off and talk about where I am personally, because this is kind of going to be the subject of this uh, show today. And it's really interesting because we're both believers in synchronicity. We're both believers and there really is no uh, chance thing that comes up. There's really a reason for everything. So for me personally, I'm at sort of a crossroads in my life and my career as far as you know, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, even my relationships, my home. I mean, everything is sort of like up in this air of where I see this entire uh, field of opportunity, an entire field of, of uh, uh, I'm, I'm not looking at the challenges. I'm, I'm keeping my eyes focused on the opportunity. And um, I'm, I'm a very spiritual person. And uh, it had sort of been downloaded to me that if I went through a fasting period of some kind, which um, I guess my, I guess I'll talk a little bit about my experience with that. You know, I used to be 320 pounds. So as that person that, that has that kind of a weird relationship with food, you know, you would, you would fast at some time because I would definitely be like the binge and then the fast type person. So I have that sort of control relationship with food, which I'm also sort of like keeping in the back of my mind. But anyway, spirit had told me that if I did do some type of a fasting, that it would bring me to a, a, a higher awareness that if I were to really concentrate on not only the sounds and the atmosphere, but also the foods that I took in for a certain period of time that would bring me into a whole new space where I would really kind of lose the importance of this earthly plane and really see us as more of the divine than the limited in the human being. Not that I'm planning on leaving the human earthly <laughs> plane anytime soon, but just, you know, we have this great importance we give, like, you know, if, if the electric company turns off my power, that's more important than spirit is giving me all the energy I could ever possibly need. It's just putting it back in the scope. So I guess that's about where I am, Heather. Does that make any sense at all? It does. And what really, what really kind of, um, hit home was the the mindset and the importance that we put on food and i think it comes down to more of the emotional importance that and for a lot of people versus food being just a source of fuel yes we get pleasure from food but that's i think again that comes from these emotional connections that we make when we're younger and how food makes us feel whether it was the person that cooked it for us or the grandmother that said, let me feed you, or, you know, the, the cookies that you turn to during breakups. Um, so I think there's, I think there's a lot of that. And the, the other thing too, that really kind of stuck out to me, I just had this conversation with somebody um, today about how it is all connected. It, the, the weight, the spirituality, the happiness, the health, it's, I think we're so used to separating those, that those are like, you know, this is one and we put this in a box over here and this is something separate and we put it in the box over here, but they're all connected. That's, I mean, like you have to have, you got to have the health, the weight and the health go hand in hand, the, the weight, the health and the spirituality and the happiness. Those are all the same on the same line, different points on the same, on that same spectrum, I think. Um, so I, that doesn't surprise me that, that that was something that you were kind of led to and, and down that path. For me personally, intermittent fasting is something I do regularly. I do it every day. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you what intermittent fasting is versus the, like the typical fast that people think of as they'll be like a 24-hour fast that they might do or a 36-hour fast or some people do 72 hours, whatever it, it is. People seem to do it. Um, and for me, I, I've, I've done a 72 hour fast. It was more of um, a mindset thing of like, I'm gonna do this than anything else. I was just like, I'm gonna do this. But the intermittent fasting for me was really key to taking my world into that next level, especially with the ketogenic diet. Like I knew that there was a lot going on that was happening already. Like when. My, when I'm eating really good nutrient dense foods, we talked about this. When I'm eating good foods and eating the good fats and, and my body's feeling full, I automatically go longer periods of time without eating. So that so to make the leap of fasting wasn't that hard. And then when I started really digging into it, so like we've talked about ketosis before and what ketosis is, which is the body's ability to take fat stores, turn it into ketone bodies, and then it goes throughout the body to use as fuel instead of what we normally use, which is glycogen or glucose. So those are sugars. Um, so when 
that whole idea of becoming a fat burner when you're in the state of ketosis is because it's going after the fat stores. Well, what also happens is it becomes a, um, a tool for you not only to go after the fat stores, but also this, this tool of um, really getting clean energy. Glucose is kind of dirty energy. It's considered like the dirty energy. So maybe like the coal of energies versus like natural gas. So what I found was when I'm in a state of ketosis and I'm burning my fat stores and using those ketone bodies, clarity of my head, like I think better. My, my whole thinking process is much clearer. Um, so that's great. But what's even more impressive is the way I feel mentally. Like, so we've got the, got the physical clarity, but also mental clarity. And that mental clarity also gives me that peace of mind, that feeling of peace of mind. Um, so I really found that there was, there was definitely something to it. Some people couldn't imagine going 16 hours without eating. That would be like a complete freak out for them. For me, it's, I do a minimum 16 hours. And, and what, what I mean by 16 hour fast is I eat, there'll be an eight hour window. There's an eight hour window where I'll eat. So let's say that's from 11 to seven. And then from seven o'clock at night until 11 o'clock in the morning, I don't eat, but I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of lemon water. I drink um, green tea. I could have coffee. I'm not much of a coffee drinker as long as the coffee was black. Um, no sugar. So there's, you, again, the body was meant to go longer periods of time without eating. So when we do that, we kind of really work at this optimal level. And the intermittent fasting isn't a diet. That's the beautiful thing. It's a way of eating. And the mental block that people have, and this is you know kind of what you had said, this mental block of, you know, I can't imagine fasting and, and this, you know, oh, it's this, this huge step that I have to take. Not so much. Maybe it's just just being aware, starting off with the awareness that you could stop eating at eight o'clock at night and not eat until eight in the morning. People do it all the time. I mean, like that's that's a no brainer, and you, you don't even have to really think about it. Just starting the awareness and going, okay, tomorrow I'll start at nine o'clock and see how that feels, or I'll try to go a little bit longer and see how that feels the body will turn to the fat stores as soon as it runs out of the glucose and the glycogen. And that doesn't happen until eight to 12 hours after your last meal. So that's why like 12 hours, that's just, that's just a mindset thing. That's a mindset trick to be able to just go, okay, that was 12 hours. That's not very hard to do. Um, there are days that I go 20 hours and then I'll have a four hour window. But during the windows that I am eating, I'm eating enough I'm not starving myself. I'm not hungry. And everybody that I've talked to in my group, all the clients that I coach, as I've gotten them into this process, they're not hungry and they're surprised. And these are the same people that fought me tooth and nail and went, oh my God, I could never do the intermittent fast. I couldn't fast. The word fast, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Um, but our bodies, I think, function at a spiritual level, mental level, health level, at, a much higher point when we allow our bodies to do what they were meant to do.